What's up, everyone? My name's Brandon. Ryan. And this is Game Talk. Uh, we haven't been live for a couple weeks because my computer took a shit. So we are streaming from my laptop right now. And it's going to be a similar format, but kind of different. I tried opening all the articles that we usually look at beforehand and then opening the streaming software and it just didn't work. So we're just, we read into a lot of these articles. We're just going to go based off headlines. Sorry that I'm not crediting the people who wrote them, but we'll get back to that once my computer is fixed. <laughs> It'll be fine. So we're just going to go right into it. Um, E3 is canceled. Everything's canceled. Everything's yes, canceled. E3 is canceled. E3 is the big one. Yes. Because of coronavirus concerns, if yes. you did not know. <laughs> so is the Midwest gaming <clears throat> thing. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We're going to go to that. No one here cares about that. Yeah, that's it's a bummer. Canceled. Yeah. So yeah, E3 is canceled. Not surprised. Microsoft and Ubisoft both tweeted out that they're still going to do stuff mm -hmm. digitally. Um, Nintendo tweeted about still announcing things. They didn't say specifically. They always did it digitally. Right. Anyway. You know, like they never really were like. They were always digital, but then they were there yeah. as well for the so conference. I, it's not, I don't so think you can go play games and stuff. Affect Nintendo too much. It's, no. Know, Nintendo's fine. Nintendo's always going to be fine. We'll but be I don't fine. know if they're going to do one around there now. They didn't sound. Mm -hmm. They didn't specifically say they were going to, mm. whereas Ubisoft and Microsoft were like, yeah, we still want to do events around that time. So I don't know. We're still waiting on anything from Nintendo, though. I think once Animal Crossing comes out, they'll give that a week or so to breathe, and yeah. then they'll do a legit direct, because we don't know what the fuck else is coming out from Nintendo. Besides the Pokemon DLC, which they might yeah, that's also true. like, and that's what, June is the first one, so yeah, there's definitely going to be something between, but I don't think there's going to be anything big until after Pokemon because they're still hyping that pretty hard, and I just... There'll be something big for sure. Like, there'll be a game... They like to have a game every few months. Yeah. Because they don't, don't get third-party support, really. So I there'll mean, be something in the summer, something in the fall, at least. We'll see. So, like, yeah. We'll see. But there will be. <laughs> now, is Breath of the Wild 2 coming out this year? Probably not. I hope so. But I want it to. Well, I do, but I also don't, because there's already so much happening this fall. That's true. I guess. If that comes out alongside Cyberpunk and yeah, these other I'm huge games. Yeah, taking a month off work. <laughs> <laughs> you might be forced to take a month off. It's true. You never that know. would be now. There's nothing out now. Animal Crossing soon. A week. Final Fantasy soon. Which well, you're not getting. But less I'm excited about. I'm more. I'm, well, equally excited. Different types of games. I did play the demo, so we can talk about that later. But oh, we'll, yeah, we'll shit. We do have to talk about that. What your setup for that. So. Okay, so this isn't in any sort of order anymore, which sucks. But uh, a new Call of Duty game also came out this week called Duty Warzone. Warzone. It just like sh didn't shadow drop, but they announced it, what, a day or two like, before not, it came I out? I think it was less than 24 hours. I think okay. it was like... Here it comes. It's coming yeah. tomorrow, tomorrow morning at such and such time and early release right. for if you have this. And then I was like, holy shit. Yeah, it's on. I love that, though. I love when they do things. That's like, like when that. Apex launched. Yeah, like just the Apex surprise. So I fucking love it. Good. I just think more games and more things need to happen like that. Yeah, um, it's hard because games take forever to make. So and, it's hard to keep quiet yeah. that long. Like there were rumors and people found listings kind of of it in Modern Warfare. Mm -hmm. But then it's a whole separate thing. It's just free. That's a yeah. free drop. I heard it wasn't it like a hundred gigs though. Probably it like fucking enormous. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me because um. the Call of Duty games in general are over that. So yeah. <clears throat> that one fat map. It's what shit. I forgot how many players is it. It's like a hundred and fifty. Yeah, or something. I've heard it's amazing. All I've Have heard you? so far is that people really like okay. it. Okay. Um, I, I kind of heard... just joined a lot of things, a lot of gamer groups on Facebook, and I, I like to get the input from people. And yeah, I've heard yeah. people really like it, and they're asking everybody's asking each other to play, which is kind of nice to see the community doing that. That Especially is cool. Especially now when you're stuck at home. Yeah, so. you can play video games and not have to actually yeah be close to people. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds cool. It sounds like it's more like it plays more like Call of Duty traditional mm -hmm. than like the Blackout mode did in Black yeah. Ops Four because that was their first foray into battle royale, which was good, but that felt very like. Player unknowns battlegrounds, I which I've never actually played PUBG. So. Okay, I played it a couple times on Xbox, but yeah, so that's exciting. Fun. I'm, I mean, I might give it a try. Um, I wanted to try it before the show, and I didn't. I don't know if I will because Animal Crossing's coming soon. I know, it's coming in hot. Well, and we still got Division. And <laughs> yeah, whatnot, yeah, so. yeah. All right, so I think we'll just go here. Reggie Fizeme appointed GameStop to GameStop's board, right? Mm -hmm. This is all from memory from reading these articles. Yeah, I mean, so, I can pull them up. <clears throat> I mean, that that's what it is, right? They appointed Reggie fils to their board of directors.
to try and help right the ship, for lack mm-hmm. of a better term, of GameStop because GameStop's losing money. Less yeah. people are shopping there. They're closing stores. They're trying to not rebrand, but get a new image. They're trying to make chill spaces to hang out where you go with your friends, but then also buy like your nerdy collectibles and your video games. They brought a lot of people, actually. Three people. Oh, really? Um, yeah, the CEO made a statement about it. I've had this article and they updated it. Um, okay. The CEO made a statement about Reggie, Bill, and JK. They don't specify that right off the bat, but okay. three people. Um each with different experience and different recommendations. Um, Reggie commented and said, the gaming industry needs a healthy and vibrant GameStop. I did say that. I look forward to being a part of GameStop and helping make this happen. My thing is, do you think it's going to happen or do you think it's going to be like eight months and then he just leaves? I don't know. It (laughs) might be a too little too late thing. It's going to run out for a pack of smokes and never come back. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's like, what does being on the board mean? Like Reggie retired from Nintendo last year. Yeah. So he doesn't obviously want to work full time. Is it like... we just come in and give us your opinions and we'll see yeah. what we can do. Does he just or come in and like, consult once a week? Or... I don't think it's that. It's probably <laughs> like just bounce. He's probably just there to bounce ideas off of and right. for him to maybe bring ideas to the table. But like he worked at Nintendo. I don't know how that transitions to a brick and mortar store style company. I mean, he obviously knows what people like gaming wise. Yeah. For the most part. It's and not sure the Wii U. <laughs> he knows that <laughs> i'm sure you could adapt it to the brick and mortar especially like gamestop i mean it's a pretty solid uh establishment of like gaming and mm-hmm. story. it's not like yeah. you know you're a target with gaming and everything else right world. you're just a whole store like, of everything yeah. with also yeah. video games so <clears throat> i still like your idea of like walmart or a target or something just purchasing gamestop Fuck yeah. and then having gamestop be a pop-up in the electronics yeah. department yeah. So you have like official GameStop branded employees, but well, within a bigger store. I like that. Amazon idea. would be so good for it because they have all they have like when you go on their website, you can find like I buy the the weapon replicas from like oh, way yeah. to work way to workshop and all that. So they have connections with these bigger companies. Mm-hmm. Whereas like Walmart doesn't have that. Right. Amazon has access to every Walmart's everything. just trying to do it all themselves. Yeah. Which kind of works i I guess like they have their nerdy collectibles and shit they have some good stuff more now than usual which is cool but i think amazon would crush it especially on the brick and mortar Mm -hmm. and gaming you know so yeah fingers crossed hopefully somebody out there hears this i could see that happening once they're almost going under Mm -hmm. so they could buy it like the name for cheap dirt cheap yeah yep i could see that being a thing bezos would do that (laughs) yeah he would (laughs) (laughs) Um, next article witcher 4 not it's not the name. It's not the name. Placeholder. New Witcher <laughs> game is going to go straight into development by CD Projekt Red once Cyberpunk is out, mm-hmm. which September, hopefully. Hopefully they get a little break. You know, they don't like, yeah, well, here's the release date and the next morning they're in at 6 a.m. They'll probably get a break. <laughs> they'll definitely get a break from the crunch that they're going through yeah. for the next fucking six months until Cyberpunk's I out. I really don't think it can be that intense of a crunch because it was already supposed to be out. Yeah, I know but... they're updating, and I know we've talked about this, but I just feel like <laughs> when you delay a game, it's not to pre- it doesn't prevent crunch from everything I've heard. It yeah. just extends the crunch. Yeah, which makes sense, but at the same time, it just... <laughs> but there are at least Polish laws where they have to get paid, like they have to get paid overtime yeah. hours. They can't like do sketchy business shit and like pay them their regular rate for their like they have. So they're getting paid extremely well, I'm sure, but. I don't want to work 80 hours a week, even if fuck I get no. paid well. So yeah, fuck I that. I don't want to work 40 hours a week and I get paid well. But a new Witcher game is exciting. Probably not. It's not going to be Geralt. No, I think we kind of talked about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm personally hoping it is um, like like we kind of said, like the sorceress. Like you have the option. Like a make like your a, own yeah, make your own Witcher or like a Yennefer style character, like yeah. a sorceress. Build a sorceress, build a witcher. Like, even if it's just those two, that's still plenty. Yeah, which I could can... see, especially with Cyberpunk, because you are making your own character. Your character's name is V, though. Mm-hmm. So, like, the story is still having dialogue around it, which is good. Like, your protagonist would yeah. still be voiced, because I would want my witcher to be voiced well, and not a silent protagonist. Because that's one of the things I fucking hate about the true. division is that you're a silent protagonist. And you, there's just nothing. There's no story like in fucking sight. And I hate that because it's yeah. fun to play it. But like The Witcher and seemingly Cyberpunk has a great story with your character. They do a really good job of that. And with the, <clears throat> um, what's the term I'm looking for? Like where y- your decision making oh, affects yeah. the entire your choices, gameplay. choices. Choice yeah. matters. Um, so. Yeah, like you influence the story. Yeah. So it's exciting. I want to make my own Witcher. That would be dope. 
I mean, even if they don't and it's another character or you're yeah. playing as Siri or whatever. Which I, I feel cool. like they would do Siri just because of the mainstream hype around it. Like it just mm-hmm. would make sense. But yeah. I'm hoping they don't give into that. Yeah. I don't think it's they weak. if they don't want to do that, I don't think they would do it just yeah. because of that. So we'll see. Maybe in a year yeah. or two we'll know more. <laughs> right. Yeah. So back to coronavirus concerns. Um mm-hmm. Pokemon Go has added some cool things so you can play without really having to do things. You can't go and do raids, like you can't do raids from home and that yeah. kind of shit. But they basically gave out what was it, fifty incense? Uh thirty incense for one coin. Was it thirty? I thought it was fifty. Eggs 50. are half. Eggs hatch in half the time. In half yeah. the time. And then basically every time you touch a poke stop, you get a gift. So you don't have to wait. They said they don't want people sitting around waiting uh, for them. You know, you can spin it three or four times or whatever. You know, and not but get now a gift it's every time. you're gonna get gifts much more frequently, so you don't have to okay. try and wait and group up. Um, yeah, which is nice. Which thank you, Niantic, for right. looking out for the gamers. <laughs> right. Real happy. Yeah, I thought the incense thing was cool. I thought it was fifty. Was it only thirty? You have fifty. I got thirty. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's right. You yeah. already had. A shit I already ton. had a shit ton of incense, and you're like, go buy all this. And, and I was like, my bag's getting full, man. <laughs> and they last an hour instead of half an hour. So you oh, have yeah, fifty shit. hours right. of sitting around. Holy shit. So basically, you're good. All right. Well, that's fun. Also, I think it was Lucky Eggs or double the strength or double the double. double who did they last twice as long? No, I thought they're only a half an hour. Something. I don't know because people aren't going to be out and about. So I'm... Double the pleasure? Yeah. Double the fun. <laughs> double main gun. <laughs> okay. So we talked about Silent Hills rumors last week mm-hmm. at Kojima Studios. Well, two weeks ago. Whatever. Last time. I mean, we probably <laughs> talked last week amongst us. Well, yeah. Also. True. But not to the seeing eye. <laughs> Um, Norman Reedus says he's talking to Kojima about other stuff. He didn't mention Silent Hills at all, but it's in the middle of all these Silent Hills rumors and all that shit. He was in Silent Hills. Silent Hills. Yeah. yeah. Or PT. The end of PT, which was Silent Hills. And that's where, you know, everything failed because Konami is a shitty company. And <laughs> then Kojima broke off from them. So the fact that this could happen still has to go through Konami. Mm-hmm. The only thing I could see is if like Sony or Microsoft would be backing something to pay konami to use that license like they would never sell the license outright because they'd want to own that ip even if they never make a video game from it again just to have power trip but yeah exactly but if sony's like here's this money and you get this percentage of sales or whatever and kojima wants to make this game it just makes me think of like the token estate like you can use this piece of lore yeah the rest is off limits you know what i mean so well yeah because konami owns a lot of older licenses that are cool like Metal Gear Solid, obviously they own that. They own Silent Hills. They own what the fuck does Konami own? They own Bomberman. I think so. Yeah, Which they own other like, shit. Super Bomberman R broke my goddamn heart. <laughs> I'm not a huge Bomberman fan. So oh I god, really I love Bomberman. I was so excited. I think you. It was the first what game I bought other... when I got my Switch. We went to GameStop. Yeah, and I played it, and I was like, "Fuck this! This is like, yeah, this is know. not Bomberman." What they know, they own other properties, and I can't. There's other big ones. Castlevania is one of them. Castlevania is a big one. Which they seem um, to do a good job with. People Contra, Frogger. Like yeah, but when was the last Castlevania game? I mean, there's a new <laughs> they show. They don't make them anymore. The show is out, so <clears throat> that counts for something, right? Yeah. Oh, they own Yu-Gi-Oh. Huh. I said Contra already. Frogger. Gradius? I don't know what Gradius is anymore. Man, what am I going to do with all my Suikoden, Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Pro Evolution Soccer. Uh, toilet Paper. That's what I, you're right. I have fucking hundreds of them. I should try and sell them, <laughs> but I don't want to individually fucking look them up. Yeah, just sell them in bulk. Look up expensive ones, and if you don't have any of those, I just sell them in bulk. Already. I think I did separate them. Okay. All right, so we talked about that. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn finally confirmed for PC. It was rumored to be on PC. I'm happy for Come everyone. out on PC months ago. Yeah. yeah, they talked to Hunter... Is it Hunter Hellquist? Whatever. That's not the right name. Um, he used to be the president of Gorilla, who makes... Horizon, but okay. now he's the president of Sony Worldwide Studios. Okay. So he transitioned to that, and he had an interview this week on the PlayStation blog, and somebody asked him about it. He's like, hey, so we heard rumors about all this, and he confirmed that it is coming in the summer, like the ultimate edition of Horizon oh, yeah. Zero Dawn 2 PC, which is awesome. There's a lot of fucking, did you see all the butt hurt PlayStation fans? Like, just being shitty about it? Grow There's up, like people. I can't believe Sony betrayed me like this. You got to play it for years first. That's the thing. It's like, why would I waste my time Calm with this down. Sony console if it's going to be on PC as well? Like, oh, my God. Three years later, yeah, yeah. and it's they. he confirmed that there were no plans to bring other stuff. He said for sure that there's never going to be anything. Not never. He said for sure that there are no plans to bring anything day and date to PC yeah. at the same time, like Microsoft's doing. 
I, I'm pretty sure my first statement just a few seconds ago was mm. excitement for PC gamers yeah. to, to play. Like this game's and amazing that's and how more people all can gamers play. Should be. Yeah. Is excited <clears throat> for everybody. This game alone changed my life. Like and yeah. my opinion of games. And it set a standard, so I think. Yeah. yeah. Which and is legit. Gary just started it last night, mm-hmm. and I'm so happy for him because the game is amazing. It's so good. Yeah, him talking about it just makes me want to play. Yeah. And I think this also fuels the fact that a Horizon 2 is going to be mm-hmm. launch title or a launch window so. for PlayStation 5. Because so. oh that's the thing. It's like it's coming to PC. People will love this game in and the summer. And then they're like, fuck, I can only play the sequel mm-hmm. on PS5 for or three wait. years. Or wait indefinitely because maybe they'll never Because it might not happen. Game. Yeah. yeah. And this... Got to pay attention to those subtle hints. Right. And it's like... It doesn't fucking matter. It's like it's not coming to Xbox, yeah. which honestly I wouldn't be pissed if it came to Xbox three years down the yeah. line, whatever. It's a single player game that you oh, it's so fucking good. But gamers are gamers and we should all come together unless you're a mobile game of fucker. <laughs> we play I'm Pokemon Go. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just because of my brother in law just talking shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's exciting though. Horizon is good. Yes. And I want to play it more. The PT might be coming back. It's a rumor. Heavy rumor. Unless, like, downloading PT is coming back, if that's what you're saying. Which then just fuels the rumor more of Silent Hills actually being a thing. PT? That's the playable teaser that was for Silent Hills. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay, you probably won't care about this next one, but I do. Um, NFL 2K is making a comeback in 2021. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, Madden is still the exclusive sim football game. So they're going for like accurate, accurate uh, football. <laughs> but these you are going to be. <laughs> I don't like Madden because I'm not good at it and I don't want to put in the time to be good at it. I want a game like the mm-hmm. old NFL 2K where I can just hop in and kick ass and then hop out. <laughs> you know what they should start doing instead of NBA <clears throat> and NFL and MLB, start doing some WWE shit again. And really vamp those games. They up. make WWE games and they suck. That's what I'm saying. Vamp them up and actually <laughs> put the same effort you put into that that you put into this. Maybe we'll see. Oh yeah, see. Well, oh yeah, Benny thought of you yeah, right away so with the NFL 2K. So thoughtful of you. <laughs> but I'm excited for this. I hope it's somewhere because it sounds like there'll be more arcadey, like an NFL Blitz, which NFL Blitz is fun, but not. There's not a lot, of, a ton of depth to it. I want like an in between, like still an arcadey feel but with some depth, so I want to keep playing it. Okay, the only sports I play in video games is that little soccer field in Destiny 2. (laughs) At the farm? (laughs) At the farm. (laughs) It's about as good as it gets. You've played Rocket League before. That counts. I mean, that's not really a sport. It's more of a sport than the Destiny soccer is. No, not really. You're going real life with these guardians in space? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm not a race car. Race cars exist? In an enclosed (laughs) arena. (laughs) <laughs> that's the thing that exists i mean we can we have people in space who could play soccer amongst themselves i don't mm-hmm. see race cars without a helmet on yeah they don't have helmets haven't you watched the little international space station people <laughs> i don't think they're playing soccer no but they're wringing water out of paper towels that's not cool. the same thing <laughs> <laughs> not even close uh but yeah i hope these games are cool and i can buy them and play them a lot like i just want like a season mode where I can play as the Packers and fuck shit up. <clears throat> and I don't know, have fun yeah. for more than a game a, a week. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Thank you. <laughs> the earliest we'll see them will be next year sometime, yeah. it sounds like. so. All right, well, that is one document. These We still got a lot. I have a lot of headlines. I mean, left. it's been two weeks. Yeah, it's been you know, two weeks since we did a show. Some of these aren't actual things. So these lot, are just like... like- most of the things I was finding, and I think it's because everything's delayed, canceled, shut down. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of rumors right now. People don't have like yeah. news because you can't. I mean, what are you going to talk the, about? I think it's the news out. is going to get sparser and sparser. So we'll yeah. get some topics. We'll um, get some topics to talk about. I it'll think. be nice. And, um, yeah, we'll talk about Animal Crossing next week. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. All right. Star Wars Project Maverick. This is from a couple weeks ago. So this leaked on the PSN. Somebody found a listing mm-hmm. for it. It's just called Star. It's a game called Star Wars Project Maverick. Nobody has any idea what it is. Was it in America or was it in the UK? Because I hear a lot about leaks in the it UK. It could have been the UK. That would that's make, where a lot of the PSN stuff leaks. It would make more sense that it was UK because, yeah. yeah, they leak all that shit. Or like Walmart Canada. But it's yeah. not, it wasn't yeah. Walmart Canada this time. <laughs> <laughs> but there was just a one, just like a art image placeholder. I have no idea. It's It'll exciting. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Is it going to be a smaller title? Is it going to be a bigger title? I don't know. Is it EA? I feel it's like not EA. I hope it's bigger. I hope there's a lot of bigger games. 
less frequently. You know what I mean? Like that take a while. Yeah. I feel like there's for a while there, it just seemed like there was so much. Like that's why my backlog is so full because everything was coming out. There's a mm. lot of games I want to play, but I just want bigger games. I still want a, a Fallen Order New Game Plus. Did Max play that yet? Uh, no, he's hooked on Breath of the Wild Borderlands still? 3 and Breath of the Wild. Mm. Mm. He keeps wanting to give up Breath of the Wild, but he just can't. He can't. <laughs> that's understandable. Yeah. yeah, I don't either. Uh, this one, I don't know if I can really get into the depth of just with the headline. It was comparing just Xbox Series X and then rumored PS5 specs yeah. with different types of TVs, which we kind of talked about before the show with the HDMI 2.1 mm-hmm. and how the the tech behind it is cool, but the marketing with TV companies and what you can actually do and if you have the right port is very confusing. Yeah. So, like, I don't have HDMI 2.1 on my TV. I'd be able to run 4K 60 frames per second, which I think is what most games are going to do. Yeah. But there are going to be games that run 4K 120. But then also, I don't remember if I need the 2.1 port to do, like, ray tracing and those better lighting graphics and all those effects and things like that. You might. So, I mean, for right now, I'm not going to buy a new TV. I will probably yeah. buy one within the next couple of years, especially if I'm missing out on things. Well, I am going to do a quick little PSA for anybody <clears> who <throat> is listening or comes around to see this video. Uh, mm. TCL brand, in my opinion, and I think you have one of the newer ones. Yeah, right? I have one of the newer ones. Because uh, I want For HDR gaming 10. is amazing, and the price point is perfect, and mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. If you like want to upgrade, just look at them. Mm. I'll, I th- it's... Yeah, because mine, I think, was... I was just watching the price for a couple months before I bought it. I think it was under 600 And it was 4K, 60 frames per Mm -hmm. second. And then HDR10. Because the models at the store aren't HDR10. And I wanted to make sure I got that. And that's what I have. But my Mm 65-inch 4K HDR or whatever was 398 Yeah. So, like, you can't... You can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, the biggest thing is if you want to get a 120 hertz one. Yeah. I don't know if they have 100. They probably do. There's probably another series that has it, but they're more expensive. Yeah. Probably more like 800, which still honestly isn't bad. I'm hoping once new consoles come out and mm-hmm. once more people do research and you find articles online, like what are the best? Or is your phone making noise? It is. Yeah, it's also <laughs> from Disenchanted. But oh, okay. Fine. And what are the... Uh, mm-hmm. What are the actual accurate specs and what are Mm -hmm. the best TVs or the TVs that at least support the HDMI 2.1 port features, which is what you're going to want to look at, which is where the information is fuddled and messed up right now. Once the councils come out and like people will do research who are at the time to, I will just trust in that. Also, a leak that I read about the councils um, was Sony being so wishy-washy with like no information so you know you can't really be wishy-washy if you're not talking at all right but Which honestly is smart at this point with the virus yeah they're saying that they're gonna based on how they think it's they're leaning towards it being more expensive obviously with everything going on it might be more expensive yeah they're saying there's actually going to be um two versions right off the bat for play, I saw for something about that, and I'm curious if that's actually going to happen. Because um, I remember hearing that forever ago, and then it died off. Yep. But it coming back it means just it started up like again. More of a thing, because um, there's supposed to be two versions of the Xbox as well, right? Yeah. So they're saying there's going to be two versions. That makes which sense. what would? I mean, they're going to dumb it down a lot. If It'd just be a cheaper version, version hardware wise. Like, I mean, I'm not worried about that. It might not support ray tracing. Might not have. Might, yeah. might not support 120 frames. Which again will lead us to possibly a limited number. So, right, you know, yeah, higher end ones. Yeah, so for sure. Um, this is another one. You said we talked about um, the old Sony Santa Monica head leaving. I believe so. Because yeah. she left to go to Google Stadium. Yes. Yeah, I believe we did. So they appointed so Sony Santa Monica developers of God of War. Um, they appointed Yumi Yang. I believe I know who that is because I she was in the. Raising Kratos documentary, which if you haven't watched, you should still watch it. I don't think I did. It's like a hour and a half ish documentary about the making of God of War. They're just following Corey Barlog yeah. around the whole time, and Corey Barlog is really fucking cool. He's a game director. Cool. Um, I would highly suggest it. It's on PlayStation's YouTube. It's free to watch, cool. obviously. But yeah, she got appointed. I think I know who she is. Either she's only eighteen, I think, which is fucking insane. Holy shit! I believe that's what it is that she was eighteen. So that's nuts. But well, good on them, Sony Santa her, Monica's. Yeah. Awesome company. So, this one we don't have to read. We talked about GameStop's plans, kind of. Um, 
that's not really an article. Oh, we didn't talk about the fucking Last of Us TV show yet. I mean, you know, gaming Fuck. first, and then have <laughs> well, TV I had it like stuff. I had it like third on the list when I was trying to actually open the articles, but my computer wasn't having that. But yeah, there's going to be a Last of Us TV show coming to HBO. It's not going to start. They're not going to start working on it until the Last of Us Two comes out, mm-hmm. which is in May. <clears throat> but it's the showrunner from Chernobyl. Don't know the guy's name. Can't remember. And then. Neil Druckmann, the writer of The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part Two, which is just which what is they need. Amazing! Everybody who's involved should have their hands on it. Yeah, and I think The Last you of know, Us will the world and the story building they can do will lend itself well to like an episodic yeah. show, especially on HBO. I feel like that's what happens to like failed um, movies that they try and make is mm-hmm. like they don't always have the right people hands on. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're you know, like not a game. Like I th- Henry Cavill's a gamer, and they cast him in The Witcher. I think that's mm-hmm. perfect because he knows. Yeah. He, you know, he could bring that kind of. And they were working with one. the author, so yeah. like Henry Cavill was reading the books and playing. He said he played The Witcher three like three times. I think, yeah. As like <laughs> research for his role, which, which is amazing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and he crushed so. it. God, the show's so good. Yeah, so that's cool. That's exciting. Whenever that actually starts to come out, but. That's the right people are involved, it's which happening. is important. It's all that matters. Yeah. And then next story, Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima release date, Club Dub Dub. Yep. Oh yeah. I agree. I like so, the gameplay a lot, um, and I usually am not one for stealth, but <laughs> you know, yeah. I am definitely not one for stealth. But <laughs> if it's done right, I'm into it, and that one is done right. Some Assassin's Creed is some isn't. Yeah. Then that. See, I did get into Odyssey, but I think mm-hmm. like the storyline actually like. Story got me so more good. interested in it. I was, yeah. I wanted to keep playing. Well, it punches you in the fucking that. throat right at the beginning yeah. with Joel's daughter. So yeah, it's rough. They, they think the game made me cry. What in like the first ten minutes of it? No so that's good. Cry my own too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ghost of Tsushima. Why can't I say Tsushima on stream? Ghost of Tsushima. I'm gonna was gonna try and look up the release date on my computer, but that's probably gonna make my laptop blow up. It's June something. Do you remember? I do not. I know I've been keeping tabs on it since we first heard about it. And of course, the one time I need information, I don't have it. June 26th. Oh, it's my cousin's birthday. Which cousin? Uh, Holly. I don't she think I know her, do it. Kentucky. Uh, Southern Illinois. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. No, not Shanna. Shanna's. Well, yeah, I knew Shanna's was in March. No. Nope. Right? No. Nope. April? April. Okay. It was everybody's keep birthday is April March. 16th. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima, June 26th. So they I'm dropped excited. a new trailer. Did you watch the new trailer? No. Shit, it looks awesome. I want to take off work for this also, um, just a day or two, because I yeah. know I'm going to pick it up. I'm, I'm excited waiting, for it. It's so. been, how long has the PS4 been out? Since 2013? So well, cause we actually, Infamous came out 2014 in the spring. So it has been, it will have been over six years since Sucker Punch has shipped the game. So this game's going to be fucking dope. I hope so, because we heard about this when we watched E3 at your Milwaukee apartment. So two years ago? Right? Because you were yeah, up here. because we were yeah. up here last so, year. So yeah, it would have been two years ago. I remember being down there making a list in our wonderful mm-hmm. chart. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I forgot we had the whiteboard. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's when we heard about it. Yeah. Right? Uh, that was, we may have heard about it. They may have unveiled it at like a Last GDC year. or at a PSX or something, but this was the first, that was the first time they showed off some gameplay yeah. and stuff, which it looks rad. It's going to be open world samurai story. You're playing the ghost of Tsushima, basically uh, a younger see, soldier like... from a war that they lost yeah. is what it sounds, is what it looks like, which is very cool. I'm excited to see <clears> what <throat> you can do, like character development and mm-hmm. like actual um, abilities like yeah. what they're gonna have. The combat to seems like there's gonna be stealth elements, but yeah. there's also like dual style combat, mm-hmm. and then you're riding horses. And I don't know. We should watch the trailer. It's like three minutes. It's really good. Sweet. Yeah. So that's exciting. That's the last of the big, the big exclusives coming to PlayStation Four. Everything else, I'm assuming, will be PS5 only from first party. So that's like a big send off, which is exciting. All right. Next article headline at least because we can't actually open the articles the overwatch is introducing hero bands mm-hmm. um we couldn't you thought it might have been weekly but i thought it was for yeah. the competitive seasons mm-hmm. so it's a good idea basically yeah. they're just banning like five heroes or something like that per competitive season that you just can't use that nobody can use so, so it's yeah this 
this week. Um, oh, it's just a week. McCree, Widowmaker, Reinhardt, and Moira are banned this week. Okay, um, so it's just a rotating list of how many was it? Five. Yeah, and then this was the article I found. <laughs> the players are furious because two supports were banned, and it just cracked me up. Like, it, <laughs> it's like they're, up. they're doing this to kind of like force different gameplay styles yeah. on everyone. It just kind of gives you another wrinkle in how you play and like team up and everything. It sounds cool. Like it's a good idea. Yeah. Except people are getting mad about it when it's like, oh, I like this idea. Oh, but now when you ban my character. You That's can't. A, <laughs> and like this quote from a streamer, like, I just started getting good at Ana again. I understand ban one support, but Ana and Moira. I'm like, come on, guys. It's the point. Also, it's a week. And it's a week. Yeah. It's not like it's fucking three yeah. months. Yeah. Like, which so. is what I thought it was. But I like it. I think it's a great idea. I really yeah. think it's cool to to do that. I mean, obviously, if I jump on and I see like Orisa's band, I'm going to be a little butthurt, but I'm not going to go on social media crying about <laughs> like my out. life is over. I'm never playing Overwatch again <laughs> until next week when my character's back. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, right. it's cool. I like it. Yeah, it's a cool idea. And it throws, yeah. Just different gameplay things. It makes you learn something new. So. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many fucking characters in Overwatch that if five are banned, yeah. fucking there's another one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Ubisoft is apparently massively reworking Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which they talked about doing forever ago because the game did not. What do you mean I can't snipe on offense? Oh, yeah, Benny, 23. Sorry. <laughs> But I didn't play Ghost Recon Break- Breakpoint. I only played Wildlands a little bit. People really liked Wildlands. Apparently Breakpoint did not have a good launch. And it took away a lot of the cool stuff that Wildlands had. I know nothing didn't about Didn't sell that, well at all. Any of that. So yeah, I don't know. It makes sense that they're reworking it because Ubisoft's good at trying to fix their games. Save it, yeah. Yeah, like they saved Siege and now Siege is a fucking insanely huge game. Yeah. Um, they worked and I think For Honor's still pretty big. It's yeah. Not like, it's, it's not like in the vein of rainbow six siege but it is a good game for them money making wise and game of service and all that jazz they're trying to bring people back to the division because they released that expansion but yeah i don't know in the long term how it's going to look for breakpoint especially with new consoles coming they'll probably have a version for the new consoles then mm-hmm. if they're trying to rework it or they'll relaunch i don't know so that's that <laughs> we neither of us have a fucking investment in that so all right new amnesia game is coming this fall don't remember what it's called can't open the article because my computer will blow up but the last one that came out was a bay of pigs which was a while ago like four years if not longer than that i like watching people play the amnesia games i remember watching kool-aid play the first one a lot in the dark which is very funny i don't like horror games where i have zero defense Mm-hmm. I don't I, I don't mind if I have to run, but I want to be able to defend myself in some way. It doesn't have to be like Resident Evil 4 where I'm going through and I'm killing everything. But I want to have some sort of defense where I can Yeah. Yeah. Um it's a sequel. Yeah. To The Dark Descent. It's called Rebirth. Yeah. Well, it was Dark Descent and then there was Bay of Pigs. And then Amnesia the Dark Descent was 2020, I think, or 2010. I think Bay of Pigs was like a year or so after that. They came out pretty close together. A Machine for Pigs? Machine for Pigs. That's it. Is Bay of Pigs like a war thing or it something? It might be. I don't, I don't know. know. Don't ask me about history. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, so that's cool. I mean, it's fun. It's something to keep an eye on in case we're Yeah, bored. it'll be cool. I'll watch play. YouTubers or streamers play it. I won't yeah. play it. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if that studio was still a thing because they hadn't released anything in forever. So that's cool. All right. This is a uh, Animal Crossing related. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, Benny will try it. You can come Get over. I'll, I'll stream it and we'll watch him play. Yeah, Animal Crossing. You can snitch to Isabel in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So basically, if someone in your town's being a shithead or you don't want them there, you just go and you're like, hey, Steve's being a bitch. And then she forces him off the island. I'm into that. I'm okay with that. Like, can we do that with our friends too? <laughs> no, because I wouldn't live on your island. You can't do that. I thought you could. Live. Well, if I'm if I'm visiting and being stupid, I think you. I don't know if you snitch to her. You just kick me out we'll yourself. Out. Yeah, <laughs> just unplug your router and then. Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. Oh, man, I can't fucking wait for Animal Crossing. All right. Six days. Six days. Wait, and did we decide? Is it 11 p.m. Thursday? 
No, uh, it probably is. I don't know though. I'm gonna be sleeping at 11 p.m. on Thursday. Why? Well, I'm gonna be trying to sleep. I haven't really been sleeping well. <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> Next article: a Resident Evil 3 remake won't let Nemesis break into safe rooms. So this is a couple weeks old now, but it was after our last show. Um, there was an article that went up that Nemesis could break into your safe rooms, mm-hmm. which was a new feature. So if you ever played, if you haven't played Resident Evil 3, Nemesis is basically around the whole game. He's this big hulking, stars killing machine who's gonna fuck you up. And he just chases you through the whole map, basically. But you could go to the safe rooms, which is where you check your loot, you save, you do all that stuff. He couldn't get in there. There was a video that went up of showing Nemesis bust in somewhere with a typewriter, which is how you save the game. So they thought it was a safe room, but that isn't a safe room. So he can't actually break Mm. into safe rooms. There are rooms with saving typewriters that aren't safe rooms that he can break into. But not actual safe rooms. <laughs> Capcom had to clarify. Stars. I know. Yeah, I he goes around and he says that. The yep. way just, just <laughs> got it. it. Yes. Three comes out uh, the 28th, March 28th, I think. It's soon. It I want to say it's like the week Which after. Which actually June reminds me, um, we were talking the other day and I was saying something April, comes out. April 3rd. Um, March 26th, something comes out. It's the control DLC. Oh, um, like the control. Out, they finally announced it. Um, the control game that I haven't finished. Yeah, that one, Brandon. <laughs> um, it's very vague. They released a very vague trailer, but it is okay. already dropping like next week. So that's exciting. I knew there was something else happening in my life this month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doom comes out Friday. Um, so does Animal Crossing. Though. Doom looks fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, not going to play it right away. I will play it eventually because I did like Doom 2016. And Doom Eternal looks like an amped up, insane version of that, which is weird to say because Doom was amped up and insane. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's exciting, but I'll just be playing Animal Crossing for a while, and then Final Fantasy VII remake, and then I do want to play the Resident Evil remake as well, but I won't play that right away. See, there's so much happening because that comes out three days before the Final Fantasy remake. <laughs> <laughs> priorities at least you have your priorities figured out. but everything else post that got delayed so it's like the only thing we have then is last of us in may and then june is pokemon dlc but that won't take long and That'll ghost take of, me a week and ghost of tsushima yeah, so we are gonna which is so at the end of june busy. yeah okay so we're gonna be pretty busy still <laughs> <laughs> but less busy than we would have been i true, guess true though that's everything that i have for headlines that are I think the only news. things I had that we didn't talk about was the Lego Mario uh, oh, yeah, shit. announcement. I keep um, forgetting about that. They haven't really specified if it's going to be. I mean, it's obvi- it's a Lego opinion, set. It's gonna it is gonna be sets, not a game. Yeah, I did you see? Did you game. see the set? No. Oh, they unveiled the set. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So like they teased Less this exciting. this like Duplo looking Mario, which I don't like the look of. But then it's not like you know your traditional Lego set. It looks basically like a diorama right, kind of yeah. that you set up. But this one is more like. It looks like the level path. Like, you know how the maps in Mario look. Mm-hmm. You're going through and there's like levels that you click on and then you go in. Yeah. And the, the Lego set looks like that. Like it's a path that goes. And then cool. the Mario is electronic. So like you'll go over a pipe and it'll make the pipe noise. And you'll go like you can go on the back of Bowser and you make like a punching noise. And I don't know. That's kind of It's cool. not. It seems cool. It seems Legos are geared towards kids obviously or but collectors. then for collectors and adults and this is very much seems collectors. only for kids oh really because i bet collectors are going to eat that shit i up. mean it's not i wouldn't want to display it like if i get a lego yeah. set i like want it on that shelf i'm looking yeah. cool and this does not look like that to me fair enough i still yeah, believe that there's going to be for now that this is mixed together there's going to be a lego mario game because i, feel I like want that that's legit lego world is crazy cool um, all the Lego games are cool, but I yeah. can see them doing the something similar to that. Lego Mario, uh, the video game, is going to happen. Mark, yeah, I'm trying to. I think it will too. So yeah, see, it kind of looks yeah. like 3D. And I mean, it's I don't know. cute. But... It is, but it looks more like a Duplo set than an actual I... Lego set to me. Yeah, and I'm not into that. Granted, I don't really buy Lego sets anyways because I'm cheap. I just want to buy Lego sets. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Like, I want all the fucking Marvel ones. Like, there's a... Yeah. I will probably buy this one eventually, but there's a Hall of Iron one. Like, a Hall of Armor Iron Man one. And I want it. But it's like 50 bucks. I'm like, fuck. One day. I don't. Do I need one it? Day. Maybe when, when I'm moving. So I'm fucking space. That's true. That's true. Um, 
I don't think I had anything else. That's all I had for news. I, I feel like, though, looking back, like there's got to be some. So as far as the console release and everything this fall, um, mm-hmm. something big has to come from Nintendo, not necessarily to compete, but like if Breath of the Wild games. surprise drops, they're going to take all, all the, they're going to steal the show. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? So it, maybe, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise drop. Like they'd announce it ahead of time. Yeah, but not like now. They'd <laughs> no. wait until like September and then be like two months till your consoles come out. But here's Breath of the Wild. Well, we're too. still waiting on a direct for any news mm-hmm. this year because that's what Nintendo does at the beginning of the year. It's always within the first couple of months. It's like, here are all of our games that are coming this year. Yeah. But they haven't done that yet. They just did the DLC one. They did the Pokemon the DLC Crossing. one. They did a Smash one. And then Animal Crossing. Yeah. Because Animal Crossing comes out this week. And so I think one will be coming soon because we're going to get at least two to more <laughs> First party Nintendo games, but I don't think they'll have a direct like next week. I did have a rumor they were, about. Didn't uh, somebody leak like game from the UK? They, leaked something about yeah. They posted, "Oh, get ready for the direct." Yeah, it's coming, and then they immediately deleted it. And they were yep. like, "Somebody was like, either <laughs> it's it was a pre-typed thing and something changed, like a scheduled tweet and something yeah, changed, yeah, or it's actually going to happen." And they they like there was supposed to be a direct. And it didn't. Yeah, I whatever, could see it so. just with all the coronavirus and stuff, like kind of pushing some announcements, which I think I'm almost, I can almost guarantee that Sony has had plans to unveil some stuff or at least unveil a date for an announcement for the PlayStation 5. And that shit has probably gotten pushed around. Yeah. But that's the nice thing about, at least for them, I'm sure they're like, man, thank God we've been fucking quiet. So we haven't had to announce delays. Like, I'm sure there've been internal delays for announcements that they've wanted to make, but we don't know that. So they're still just quiet. But I I assume Animal Crossing will come out for Nintendo. Uh, They'll let it breathe. People be stoked about Mm -hmm. it for a couple weeks. And then they'll announce a direct for like a week or so even after that. Because they need to know Nintendo doesn't have any other games that we know of coming out this year. It's true. I'm sorry. I'm reading about this game that I forgot that was coming out that I'm curious about. Bleeding Edge. I've heard that name. What is that? Pre-order is March 24th. Um, Xbox, Windows. Yeah. So I think is it's, it a multiplayer? Game? I, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks oh four b four team fighter. Oh, is that the one that like Ninja Theory is making? Yeah. They. So, oh God. I'll have to go back. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna get in the thick of it. I think it's the one that Ninja Theory is making, which was like the first big third party studio that Microsoft bought in, put it into the first party studio fold. Yeah, it's very like punk rock goth like i'm really excited um yeah whoever did devil may cry yeah yep yeah. so it's either ninja theory yeah, or ninja team. theory okay yeah and published by xbox game studio yeah because microsoft owns that studio now they bought them scheduled to launch on march 24th but then the release date is june 27th so i never i'm pretty sure it's in early access on game pass so like, you can 24th. go play it right now so it is next week which sucks because i do i'm interested in all these fucking games <laughs> yeah, yeah that one seems cool I don't have anything else topic wise. I wanted. Oh, uh, well, we could talk about the division. Have you been first? Have you been playing anything besides the division two? Uh, Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, I that's finally right. got into it. Like the first time I played it. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see me complaining about this already. But like the first time <laughs> I played it, I played for a couple hours, and then I like next thing I know, I'm waking up because I fell asleep. Um, and I was like, <laughs> okay, well, there's that game. But no, I, I jumped into it the other day um, as Dylan because I was obviously blowing up his phone like, help, I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He was drunk um, when yeah. you were texting him, which I don't think he told you that, but he was telling me the next day. Uh, He's like, I was drunk playing Division. So I'm, he said he was running from his recliner playing Division to his computer, searching Stardew shit, texting you back, coming back to the... And he was all drunk while this happened. It makes he, sense. He's like, it was, it was tough. It sounds like that. <laughs> really just keeps him on his toes. But uh yeah, no, so I finally started getting into it and getting to a point where I felt like, oh, I get this. And then all my plans died the next morning because apparently seasons are 28 days. Um Oh uh, yeah. We're dropping frames. Other than that, no. Um Oh, the story Martian. Thanks for the follow. Two. Uh Final Fantasy demo. Oh yeah, shit. Play that. Okay, so what we did was I had Ryan here. He's never played Final Fantasy Seven. I had him play the opening portion of the OG Final Fantasy VII because I had it on Switch. So I just brought my Switch over. He played the opening 
portion, which was the demo as well. Mm-hmm. It's probably what, like 15 minutes? Yeah. And the, yeah. the PS1 Final Fantasy VII, but then the demo, that's about an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, you it liked it? It was a good it? idea, yeah, comparing the two. Yeah. <laughs> for having never really played Final Fantasy, um, I liked it. I'm curious to see how... The rest of the because you don't know these ca- you don't know excited. these characters either. Yeah, I know and, like, nothing. They're mysterious early yeah. on. Yeah, and I don't usually get into gameplays like this. Mm-hmm. That you know, so this I'm excited. You know, for something because yeah. I liked it and I'm ready to go. I'm so ready go forward. I'm so it. ready. So we'll see. We'll see if I pick it up right away. I guess it depends where I'm at with all the other freaking. Well, games it's like you don't life. have to if you're busy with other shit because I'm actually getting a physical version of it. Oh, because I true. bought the. Yeah. Not the like three hundred dollar edition, but whatever like the eighty dollar nice, edition was. The nice one, which I got for like fifty bucks because they announced it at E three, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Here, you can get this eighty dollar edition for like fifty right now." And I'm like, "I'll pre-order it if it, if I don't want it, I'll cancel it." Because yeah, between like Animal Crossing, um, <coughs> I'm gonna dabble in Bleeding Edge one way or another. Control DLC is coming. You out. You have to let me know how Bleeding Edge is. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot, so it is. For everything being delayed, there is still quite a bit to to look forward to. Oh yeah. I'm trying to think. I've been playing. I haven't played as much. Well, that's a lie. I have played a lot of Division Two this last week. Fuck yeah! We're finally almost all at the level cap. Yeah, until Max now wants to jump in, and I'm pretty sure well, we're gonna be Max him is going to say he's going to jump in, but then he's not going to jump true. in. Well, he is updating it. I actually had to mess around with his PlayStation okay. for him and try and figure out the internet because it was like real slow. And I don't. His I don't room, I think, is just in a shit location. Yeah, and it just bums me out. But I got it, and it started. It it really jumped up. So hopefully, it, it's done. It'd be yeah. nice if you guys had a way to just run cables up and you could just plug in. And we could, but it would be you gotta drill the, holes you know, in the fucking dining room too. Like, yeah, so we could make it work. It just wouldn't really be plausible. Yeah, that wouldn't be great. What would I need? Like a fifty foot Ethernet cable at least for Max's room. Yeah, which I guess is doable. My room's fine. <laughs> then you'd have no issues. Yeah, because my room's fine. Like literally, I mean, mm-hmm. I haven't really had any issues except for that one day, but that was. Not my internet. I mean, that was not my fault. The spectrum crashed. Oh, Remember yeah, I shit. Like, I forgot about crash. that. <laughs> that was like the one night we all got on at the yeah. same time and you just couldn't play with us. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but we got our other friend Ryan from North Carolina mm-hmm. to get it back. And he's he was still they were still playing when I got home last night. Sweet. Um, the bitch and Gary and Dylan were playing. So hopefully the bitch is at level 30. He was close. He was 29. Wasn't he like left. 25, but 29 with our... No, he was he was 25, but then after we did that last stronghold, he said he was 29. Sweet. So he, he's fucking there. So he might have a specialization. They might have done all the strongholds and shit, unless they both That's joined Gary to level him up, which is possible too. Sweet. But I'm sure I'll play some today. Yeah, I'll probably jump on when I get home. I gotta, you know, adult, clean up the yard and yeah. maybe go for a run. I might go for a walk. I don't know how cold it is out. It's I'm cold. gonna I'm gonna hit the elliptical for sure. Not it's related. 30 degrees. Have I played anything else? Play a little Pokemon Go. I may have played some Slay the Spire. I don't remember. I think I did a I run at some point. Slay the Spire is still awesome. Play it. It's great. If you have Game Pass, it's included. It's true. So fucking get addicted to that shit. It's a good, I have 45 minutes. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Even kind of half an hour. Because it's not the kind of game where yeah. like, you will just you can just shut your console down and leave. It's not like you're going yeah, like, to got to save this because you can't. Anyways. I've definitely stopped mid-run on my Switch yeah. and you just put it back up and you're gone. Yeah. That's so fun. All right. Do you have any other tidbits before we shut the show down? I do not. Um, if you got questions, I will post this to YouTube if my laptop allows me to. <laughs> I yeah. want to because more people see it on YouTube as well. So, and then we can get some questions and comments and that kind of shit for the next week, which I like. Questions anytime. I think we've talked about, or if you maybe even post it along with the video later, Mm -hmm. Uh, Instagram, everything, find us, leave us questions. Yeah. Your Dark Siren 89 everywhere. Yes. Uh, We're Laird Brandon on Twitch, YouTube, um, LRD Brandon, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. You can tweet at me anytime, questions, whatever. Yeah. And you'll see. Like I said, we post about our personal gaming throughout the week, so yeah. it's good times. I retweet articles and memes and shit like that. Uh, Twitch Studio seems to be fucking up, so we're still live. <laughs> I mean, you know, we there's things to talk about until it comes back. Yeah, fill time. If it comes back. Um, what are you going to name your town in Animal Crossing? Actually, funny you say that. So, <laughs> I follow those Facebook groups, and they actually posted... Um, about it and they asked there's a character limit excited. 12 
I think so. But somebody was like, oh, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. So I um, am following that, and this guy posted. He had a really cool name, but I don't know because I want it to be <laughs> legit, and I'm super excited. Um, Are you going to name it something like? Hella gay, for sure. Okay. I was, yeah, no, for <laughs> You sure. didn't even let me ask my question. I was going to be like, are you going to name it something fictional from a world that you like or something more akin to your personality and tastes? And it's, I assume it's the latter. It's probably going to be like Because hella combo. gay is what you said. I'm, I'm really good at like... <laughs> like gay Skyrim or... Them. Yeah, no, yeah. Like gay Skyrim. Or <laughs> like just... Gyrim, you know? It's fine. <laughs> I like Gyrim. That's good. <laughs> So stay tuned and you'll see all sorts of fun stuff. Coming <laughs> I'm probably going to see on the DS one. It was an <laughs> Lamau hella gay. <laughs> um, I always name my fake towns uh, after that 70 show. I love that 70 show. And so it's That's probably cool. I think I can fit point place, which is probably what I will do um, on the DS one. I couldn't. So. I had to do like point PLC, oh. which isn't as cool. Yeah, this one guy. But I think this one. Pork and three bears. (laughs) Pork and three bears. Yes. Like, that's probably too long. Like, three bears lodge or. I mean. (laughs) But I think I can fit point in place, but I don't think I can put a space. So I think it'll be like point and I'll intercap it, obviously. But you see, you see the usual ones. You see like Gotham and like. Uh, Cliche, metropolis which is cool like See, if you're into that shit like like this guy said his up his island name is avalice but it's like how did you already set it up i think he just made this i think there's a website you might be able to dick around oh there is yep somebody said that yeah Actually, i'm just kidding yeah because i i think the character limit is like 12 so yeah uh, if you're watching this on youtube other people are setting it up too leave Leave Animal Crossing comments. It comes out on Friday. Uh, if you're what you're hyped for for Animal Crossing, what you want to name your town as, just some good town recommendations. Give us some questions. Oh yeah, Dodo Airlines. Dodoairlines.com. Nice. All right. Well, I'm Brandon. Four days, twelve hours, fifteen minutes. I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Brandon and Ryan Game Talk. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye.